Hello guys, my name is Chien and welcome back to the series for learning programming language by example using C# ASP.NET. Okay, so today we will continue with the day 10. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to implement the pending function uh, by using uh, repeater and C# -sharp. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a website and name it a repeater uh, pending function. Okay. Okay. So before we start coding, I want you guys take a look at the picture. That is the result when we done coding. Yeah. So I think this one is the is the perfect pending function for now. So it will be fully support for everything. Okay. Also, to set the time, I will create a, an example before a static tutorial. So now I will open this one and copy some line of code. And after that, I will try to explain for you guys. Okay. So the first we will take a look at the database. Uh, in this tutorial, I still use the SQL database, and the database name is MyDB, and the table we have table person, and have three group here. Okay. So okay, so let's come back to the previous example in other tutorial. I name it the repeater example. So and take a look at the repeater with with our petty version. Yeah, okay. So you can see that one is the repeater we were with you in the previous uh, tutorial. So you can see this uh, repeater is show the full list of person in the database. So that means it, the first thing you look it you think it look not good here because it it contain a long data. So you want to see every uh, the whole how data you have to scroll down to see. So if you still keep that, I think it's okay. But uh, when you have a huge data, for example, one billion or two billion or something like that, you cannot lose uh, all the data at the same time on your page. So I think you have to use the uh, um, Petting function for the website to prevent uh, everything. Okay, so now come back to the content for this tutorial today. So I will open the code. The first I will open the HTML code. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, so I will copy the code on course and I will try to explain for you okay back to the code behind Okay, come back to the HTML course. So we have okay, come back to the design. You can see this one is the is a repeater which contain the the person information from the database, and we have another repeater which contain the passing person here. Okay. Uh, 
I try to copy some styles here. Okay, it makes the table is beautiful. Okay, so the web content I will put inside the update an update panel to make uh, to make the, the uh, to make the web page is not uh, refresh when we go to another page. So that means we can go to another page without refresh the content on the web page. Okay. Here we have a repeater result which contain some ID, name, address, and create the date, the label, and this one is a data. We put it inside the item template, and the same thing for uh, another repeater. I name it is repeater pattern, and we contain only one link button here. Put it inside the item. Okay, the next one we have link button first, previous, next, last, and the first last one is a label. We can we display the how many uh press on uh, the on the web page. Okay, so I go back to the code behind. So I will use the pet data source to store the data, uh, the data from get from the database and display it inside uh, into a repeater. Okay, that's one. Pet try I pet pet try that's one. The, how many records you want to display on per pet? On each pet, uh. Like we create the current page variable. Okay, so we create a method to get the, the data from database and return it as a data table. Here. Yeah. So next one, we will uh, uh, buy the data from database. We got uh, we get uh, from get data from DB. Here and buy it inside the repeater result here. After we buy the data, after we buy the data into repeater result successfully, we will clone the function or handle passing, which will be handle the passing function inside here. Here is the event for some link button. First, last, previous, next, and that one is the passing item command here. So if we, uh, this one will handle the event when you go to uh, the new page, and for the passing uh, repeater, and the same result for the repeater passing here. Uh, we will change the color when you click to the pet. For example, when you click to the pet 2, it will uh, uh, disable that uh, the pet 2 and you cannot click the, uh, uh, on the pet 2 anymore. And it will change the color for pet 2 here. Okay, so let, let's try to run the application. Web page. Okay, so you can see this one is the repeater which contains the data from database, and the next one repeater is the page ring here. For now, we have three page. So when you click to page two, it will auto this. 
uh, disable and this one and you are unable to click it anymore and it also change the color for it night previous lab yeah so when you go last you cannot click to next lab link button here and this this label display the total pass here okay so come back to the code behind so you can change the total of purpose into one to see what happened okay so if we train here I think we have a lot of pet for now we have a chances pet here and by default you can setting here and do it here We will be we will display ten pairs or uh, on on the on this to be repeater. So, for example, when you click to the pair ten, it will display the next pair here. You can click here, it another here. So I think that one is working perfectly and uh, you cannot try it on the internet you know okay so i hope this video uh, video tutorial will have fun for you guys so please let me know if you have any question and uh, i i will try to answer you as soon as possible so i will upload this course to the github and uh, after that i will try to post this uh this course uh, on code project so you, you guys can go there uh, to take a look at this and uh, I will put the link in the uh, description of this, of this video so you guys can take a look and happy coding and see you in the next tutorial bye bye